Hey everybody, it's Lissa. Welcome back to my channel. And as you can see from the title of today's video, this is going to be a video I've actually never done on this channel before. And today we're going to be doing a cooking video. You guys ask me all the time to do more cooking videos and I really do like to cook. But since I live by myself, I do feel like cooking like big meals and recipes are kind of a waste of food because I'm the only person ever eating them. But Mother's Day is this weekend and I recently bought the unofficial Bridgerton cookbook by Lex Taylor. And I figured I would pick three recipes out of this cookbook and I would cook them for my mom and my family for Mother's Day this weekend. So my mom, my dad, and my sister are going to be judges in this video. So before I get started with the cooking, I do want to go over the cookbook with you guys and show you the recipes that I am going to be doing. So as it says on the cover, this is the unofficial cookbook, which means it is not owned by Netflix or the creators of Bridgerton in any way. This was created by Lex Taylor. So it's not 100% the recipes from Bridgerton, but it is food based off that time period. So it says from the Viscount's mushroom miniatures and the royal wedding oysters to debutante punch and the duke's favorite gooseberry pie a hundred dazzling recipes inspired by bridgerton so it's just a whole book inspired by the show you guys know me you know i'm obsessed with bridgerton especially season two season two was definitely superior to season one you were the bane of my existence and the object of all my desires do you even know all the ways a lady can be seduced the things i could and it has taken over my life. I'm currently reading the books and I was literally so freaking excited to get this cookbook. A lot of the meals in here are very complex and they also serve like 10 plus people. So I went through all of the recipes in this book that sounded the easiest and served like four five people because that's all I am going to be feeding. And I do feel like I relate to Queen Charlotte in just a little bit because I do also have a fluffy Pomeranian. And unfortunately he won't be able to be trying the food today. So as you can see behind me, I have bags of ingredients because I already bought all the ingredients for the recipes that I am going to be doing. So I tried to choose an appetizer, the dinner portion, and then a dessert. So I'm gonna make the appetizer, let my family eat it, and then while they're eating it, I'll be making the dinner, and then I'll make the dessert afterwards. So I'm gonna be spending a lot of time cooking today. I don't know, I've never done this much cooking in one day in my life, so we'll see how it goes. So at the beginning of the cookbook, they have the pages full of like the table of contents, so you can go through what type of categories you wanna cook. So like meats, sweets, veggies, fish, tea, lunch foods. They have a whole table of contents of what you wanna choose from. But today, what I chose for the appetizer is the winning pig bacon bites. And there is an amazing picture. Not all the recipes have pictures, but there was a picture for this one. And the reason I chose this one as the appetizer is because it's small and my dad loves bacon, like anything with bacon in it he likes. So I chose that to try to get some more points when it comes to judging because my parents are going to judge the food. So it says that these are small four bite pies and they are golden and flaky on the outside and warm and sweet on the inside. One can be sure they came from the fair winnings pig. This seems pretty, pretty simple. It takes about 30 minutes to make them. For the main dish, this is going to be the most challenging, I think, just because it is pretty fancy. This is the pineapple centerpiece with pork belly. I don't think I've ever tried pork belly, but I do like pork and my family likes pork as well. So this is some pork belly inside of pineapples and it says it serves up to four people. And it also doesn't take as long to make either about 45 minutes. And then lastly for dessert, we have the innkeeper's apple galette. I think that's how you say it. And it's basically like apple pie, but a little bit different. And this says I could serve up to eight people. So there will definitely be some leftovers. You can eat it with ice cream. That also takes about 30 minutes to make as well. So hopefully we can make all three of those meals tonight within a reasonable amount of time. I'm going to be showing you guys all the ingredients. I'm going to actually be like cooking it. There may be some more voiceovers just so I can cook very quickly and get everything done in a reasonable amount of time. So let me go ahead and show you the ingredients for each meal. I'm actually going to be cooking all of these at my parents' house. So I'll update you guys when I get to my parents' house.
this one. Presentation, what do you give it a one out of five? I give it a four. What do you give it? I'm about the same. Four? I like biscuits. Tastes mm. like biscuits. Yeah, it's good. These are pretty out fast. These are good. You haven't tried one yet. I know, I will. Does it taste like a biscuit? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just got bacon. Bacon biscuit. For taste, if you had to get it a one out of five. Oh, I'll give it a five. Really? Yeah. I think that's really good. Homemade bread, homemade dough, that's really, that turned out really good. What about you guys? What do you think? Well, we gotta give it a number, one to five. Maybe like a four. It's just a little too heavy for me. Like too, too uh, thick? Too doughy. Yeah. yeah. Five. five. Mm -hmm. soak in a little bit more but still four out of five is good you can definitely taste the pineapple but a little bit more would make it taste even you know what i mean you know what i taste the most that taco season is mm -hmm. yeah yep The dessert? Is it hot? It's cold. Oh, is it good? Yeah. One out of five. Four. Do you think it tastes like apple pie? Um, yeah. Here's my bowl. Pretty good. Tastes like apple pie? A little bit better than apple pie, actually. Better? Yeah, I like it better, too. Yeah, it's got a little... I think it's those kind of apples. The gala apples are just a little bit different taste. Well, I think the pastry is different and it tastes more fluffy. Yeah, but every apple, you know, depending on the brand, you know, the name has a different taste to it. So the gala apple, I think it's a pretty good taste. Okay, out of all of the meals that were cooked tonight, which one was the best? The, the pineapple? I like the yeah. biscuit. The biscuit? The biscuit. Oh, the biscuit was good. I like the biscuit. Yeah, I like the biscuit. Oh, I'm, I'm going team pineapple. <laughs>